Hello everyone, Ultima Mantoid here with a new LP. We are going to be playing through Amnesia The Dark Descent. This is my Halloween special. I have not played this game before. Well, I kind of recorded part one already, but I didn't have my microphone turned on the entire stupid part. So I do know how the beginning of the game goes. I only started the game once prior to that to set up the controls so I wouldn't have to do that in front of you guys. I've got a big old jug of water here. Yeah, because water is awesome. Anyway, so let's uh, start a new game because it kind of saved where I was when I quit. So we'll start a new game. Yes, I'd like to start a new game, please. And I'm playing this with the lights off like it suggests at the beginning of the game. So it says that... Uh, yeah, there we go. That was weird. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am... Daniel. That was not totally creepy at all. Anyway, they suggest that you play this game with the lights out. So, that's what I'm gonna do. It's a game that you're supposed to immerse yourself in. So we're gonna do that. I love the light. A memento has been added to your journal, J. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Let me make sure this is recording real quick. No, that's not it. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, good. <laughs> that was weird. Alright, I'll probably cut that out. Anyway. Well, we have boulders back here, and they're in the way. We have nothing of that. Alright. When grabbing an object, press right mouse to throw it. Hold down V and move the mouse to rotate the object. Okay. Let's get this in the light so we can see it better. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now we have an upside down plant. We can walk around with an upside down plant. Whee! And let's uh, throw it at that statue. Whoa, what in the world? I... Yay! Pot is broken. So let's hit Memento and see what it shows us. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Obviously this trail on the floor. You can quickly check the most recently read text by pressing in. Hello? Anyone in here? Hey, what's this on the table? Tinderbox. Tinderboxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current amount of tinderboxes is shown in the inventory tab. We have one tinderbox. Oh, there's our health. And our sanity. Okay, so these are our two health meters. And we have our journal. 
which has notes, diaries, and mementos. Okay. We don't have any diaries, and we don't have any notes. Okay. Alright. Let's uh, pull up a chair here. We'll uh, just set that back down. A little bit closer to the fireplace. You can interact with everything. No wine for you. Now that's cool. <laughs> It'll automatically let it go. Let's shut the... Hold down left mouse and move the mouse in order to move the door. Press right mouse to throw the door open or shut, depending on the direction you face. Well, that's cool. Let's uh, throw it shut. No. Let's uh, throw it shut. Bam! Yeah. Well. More tinder box. Let's shut it back. in here. Another tinderbox. Man, they love giving these things to us. Hey, wait, there's a broom in there, wasn't there? Yep. Don't need the broom, though. Is it locked? Oh, it opens from the other way. footsteps. Who's there? Anyways, yeah, this is a completely, for the most part, a blind playthrough. Whoa! Is he, like, laying on the floor? Whoa. That was weird. Why is that shaking? more water. What's in here? Anything of importance? Tinderbox. <laughs> Took it. Took his head right off. Why is everything... My vision's all distorted. I'll take this with me. Hello, I shall call you Fred. Hi, Fred. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing just great. Wondering if I can... I'm setting you down for a moment. Well, I guess I can open that. Let's see. Is there anything in it? anything in there. Okay, Fred, come here. You're coming with me. Yes. Uh, no, you need to look at me, not the floor. So, yeah. You are going to be my best friend. Yes, my best friend. Ooh, is this... Got anything in it? Hey, Fred, I found you a shirt. No, now that's rude. What have I told you about shutting other people's cabinets? You know what? Have a shirt. Why is this door open? It's pretty and well lit. Whoa. It was lit. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light.
Fred, where are you? I'm scared. Hold me. Come here. I'm scared without you. I need you. You got a hard head, that's for sure. I'm sure that as long as I carry you around, nothing will get me. Not a single thing. Nothing. Well, I have to set you down now. Aw, bye, Fred. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. I want to go back and pick up Fred, but I guess I can't. Oh, well. Goodbye. Still more water, though. Whoa. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Okay, our sanity has gone down. We now have a slight headache. What is in here, anyway? What in the world? Where did those bugs come from? And they're gone. Might as well raid the place while I'm here. See if there's anything useful. Ooh, tinder, tinder box. Two of them. By the way, I love the physics. Watch this. Ah! Yes, throw the box. Ah! Love it. Mm, nothing back there. Is there anything back here? That's it for this room. At least it's well lit. We'll say that much. Obviously it's raining. Rocks here, I guess, mean it's a dead end. Papers in the floor, can't pick them up. Well, at least we know where the, the wet feet print driplets things go. Is there anything in here? No. Open! Thank you. Tinderbox. There we go. That was weird. I had to move the mouse in the other direction. Oh, what the... Lantern. You have picked up the lantern. When filled with oil, it can be turned on by pressing Q or double-clicking on the in the inventory tab. A book. I would take you and let Fred read you, except I'm going to just simply stand you upright. Carefully. Yes, look at that. My balance is amazing. We'll knock you over and we'll stand you upright. And you can just go on the floor. What is that noise? 
Okay, it's really dark. Uh, where is a place to... Hey, there's one. Okay, so it makes everything, like, really distorted whenever it's all dark. And, like, he's having an amnesia attack? Swing his door open. Yeah, this, and, uh, one of the things that it told me at the beginning of the game. What the? Earthquake? How to explain those things moving? Anyways, one of the things that it said is, is you do not play amnesia to win. You play to immerse yourself in the world. So for once, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just play the game, enjoy it, not worry about, you know... Like, every other LP, it's like, let's beat the game. I'm just gonna enjoy this one. I'm sure that the game has to have an end, but... Nothing... Anything in here? Tender box! I got a ton of these things now. Probably a good thing to have them now. Because, like, I'm sure later on it will be... You know, a problem finding them or something. I guess I can't open that up. It also said to don't, you know, to not fight. Like, try to avoid fighting. Whoa. Being drawn here. Oil. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. <laughs> Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. So... The lantern drains oil when it is turned on. To add more oil to lantern, double-click on the oil item in the inventory tab. So, let me get this straight. He wrote himself a letter. Because he knew he would forget? That's kind of strange, but okay. Looks like an alchemist's uh, room here. Plenty of bottles. And... Hey! What's this? Hold down left mouse and move the mouse in the direction you want to move the lever. Whoa. Of course, it's always behind the bookshelf. Always behind the bookshelf. Yes, I love making a mess of other people's laboratories. And we'll just set you on top. And you can go there. Set you up on top right there. Stay. I can do this. I got this. No, 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 no. Stay up there. Yes. 
Ha! And it's crooked. I don't care. I did it. Alright. So did he write himself like a letter or something to... He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. To run, hold down A while moving. Okay. But yeah, I'm guessing he wrote himself a letter to kill this guy because he knew that this guy would make him forget? Or something. Oh, that's bright. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. I guess I'm hallucinating too. Well, let's go this way. What in the world? Some sort of organic tissue blocks path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Okay. Well, let's, uh, find a way to destroy that, shall we? I know, we'll run. Ooh, oil and tinderbox. Bugs. What? The? Bugs. It's those same bugs. That's a pretty spider web. Huh. Interesting picture. What the? Okay, can I just take the book? Give me the book. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll just take the book and go. back on the shelf. Okay, so obviously that's not the right way to go. Let's go this way, up the stairs. Is there anything around them, though? Nope. Let's just go up them. What was... There's a woman screaming. Wine cellar. Locked and won't open. Okay. Let's go the other way. Let's check the notes real quick. No. Alright, so that's all in my mementos. Oh, I need to test out the lantern. Oh, cool. I like. We'll put it away for now, though. Okay, so that's my oil. Oh, it even has bubbles. That's cool. Huh. Alright. Okay, so the laboratory. A 
fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. got my attention. Well, what the... It's just spitting smoke at me. Somebody. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Don't want to waste all the oil. Oh, yeah, I see. It goes down pretty quick. Not cool. By the way, this, I have not played this part, so now everything from, like, this point is blind. Even a little bit before this. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae? Vitae? I don't know. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Chemistry pod. I don't like how dark it is, so I'll just light that. Move the mouse while holding down the left mouse in order to move the object. Tender box. One day I will return wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. What is that? Okay, I guess it does that every time I click it. It's like some sort of phylactery or something. Is there a lich running around? It's the last thing I would want. A pissed off lich. Tinderbox inside the thing. The little furnace. God lord, tons of tinderboxes. I thought I heard more footsteps. Well, they give you plenty of oil and tinder boxes for now, at least. Hey, 
The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. So we know where the good stuff is. Four different chemicals are needed to continue. How bad's my sanity? A slight headache. Okay. Uh, oh, tinderbox. Nothing back there. Ooh, another tinderbox. Good lord. How many does that put me at? Fourteen tinder boxes. At least I'm not uh, gonna run out of candlelight anytime soon. All right. Well, this looks like a good place to stop. So I'll pick up in the next part of Amnesia. Uh. So yeah. This is Ultima Mantoid, and this is a blind playthrough of Amnesia. Till next time. Take care and have fun.